Okay, in this example, we're going to graph the hyperbola x squared over 2 equals 1 plus y squared over 2. And what I'm going to do is sort of write this in a, a, you know, a more standard form. So the first thing I would do is, you know, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 2 uh, just to get rid of those denominators. It, it, to me, it just kind of is something to uh, kind of clutter up the problem and just to just maybe confuse us a little bit. So uh, the 2's will cancel out, leave us with x squared on the left. Same thing on the right, the 2's will cancel out. We'll have 1 plus y squared. And now if we subtract y squared from both sides, we'll get x squared minus y squared equals 1. And we could even write this as x squared over 1 minus y squared over 1 equals 1. And well, you know, really we could even write 1 as 1 squared, and again, 1 is 1 squared. So now we have it in this form, you know, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And to me, you can already start reading off, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of information about this. So for one thing, this is going to be centered, this is going to be centered at the origin. Okay. Since it's of the form x squared over uh, a number minus y squared over a number, that tells me that the parabola, or excuse me, the hyperbola, uh, the hyperbola is going to open, you know, to the left and to the right. Okay, so, um, so we know that much of it as well. Um, the value underneath x squared, since it's 1 squared, that tells me that a equals 1. And again, a equals 1, that's simply the distance from wherever it's centered out to one of our vertices. So that tells me that the vertices are, in fact, going to be at 1, 0, and also at negative 1, 0. Okay, so uh, we've got that much. And I guess the last little bit that we could use here maybe to help sketch our graph, we know that the asymptotes are going to be of the form y equals positive negative a over b times x. Well, again, a is equal to 1. It's the number that's being squared underneath x. And b is also going to be equal to 1. Again, it's the, you know, the number that's being squared underneath the, uh, the y squared term. So our asymptotes will be of the form positive negative 1 over 1 x, which will just be, you know, positive and negative 1x. So y equals positive x will be one of our asymptotes. So there's y equals positive x. And then y equals negative x will be one of our other asymptotes. So then of course we should make the graph kind of uh, you know, start to approach those asymptotes. But that would be a very, you know, a very rough sketch now of the of the hyperbola. Okay? It's just uh, kind of getting it you know, in that certain recognizable form. Again, that tells me if it opens left and right or up and down. Um, once I figure out my A and B, I can get my asymptotes, I can get my vertices. And again, I think that's enough to make a, a good, decent, rough sketch.